Hello. Hello. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and today I wanted to show you guys how I achieved my two year old son's dreads for the first time. I am really new to doing dreads. I have never done dreads from the beginning ever. So I was a little nervous and scared to do it, but I think the outcome came out beautiful. I had already washed his hair. Uh, so this is exactly how it looked after I washed it. Kind of just parting through it because I'm not doing all of his hair, I'm just doing the, the top and a little bit of the back. The sides and the back is gonna be shaved off. As you can see right here, I am trying to make sure both sides are even and clip down the part that's gonna be cut later on and start you know, making sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. His hair only took me about an hour and a half to two hours to get done. As y'all can see, his hair looks a little dry. I did go through um, later on and as I parted it and did each dread, I did grease it and comb it out as best as I can. So because I only get one shot at this, I am trying to define the part to make sure that you know it's even enough so that you know I'm not shaving off anything that I don't want um, to be cut off and regret it later. So that's why I'm like really taking my time making sure I get every little hair and every hair I don't want taken off. I only use Shea Moisture products. So right here I'm using the Detangular um, Spray for Kids and I'm spraying the top of his head trying to detangle as much as I can before I start parting it. Um, and doing his dreads so right here I just you know parted it already and I'm about to get the grease and this is the grease I use the Jamaican mango and lime lot grow and it's really good I as you can see I use it a lot and it really helps with growth um, I've seen the process in my husband's hair and I think it's gonna be amazing for his hair and it smells so good I'm just making sure that his roots and his ends are very moisturized and has enough grease on it because our hair tends to dry um, and soak up moisture really fast. So I'm just making sure that that doesn't happen to him. And also I made, I'm making sure to um, moisturize daily. I have a spray. I'm going to link down everything I use in this whole process. As you can see right here, I am about to go in with my locking gel. This is my first time using it. I've never used this before. So I honestly was a little scared that I didn't do it right, but um, that's how it looks. It felt nice. Um, kind of feels like a gel, you know? I mean, it looks like a gel. Well, it is a gel. <laughs> I didn't even realize it is a gel, but it is a gel. So um, that's how it felt. <laughs> and I just started twisting uh, from the roots all the way down the middle using the palm roll method. And then I just used my fingers and kind of rolled it around my fingers. Did comb off those um, ends though, because it got a little knotty. But um, I just did that all the way to the end. I added a little more. Honestly, I was a little nervous that um, the twist was gonna come out. So I just kept twisting even though it was twisted enough. Uh, so that's what you see me doing just keep twisting even though you can see it's perfectly twisted the only um thing i did not focus on for real was the roots i did not um do them as tight as i wanted to but i did go over the following day and retwisted them to the roots it was kind of wet so it was really hard for me to do and it was very slippery so right here i am about to clip it um with the clip <laughs> it comes with to the root and you as you see I'm struggling because it's very slippery and I'm about to clip it um, to the root of the hair and that's how it looked it was really wet so it kind of just bounced back let's just talk about how handsome this little boy is like look at him being all goofy and cute his lashes is longer than mine his teeth healthy no cavities just really cute him looking crazy <laughs> from the front because those little baby hairs gotta get cut off you need a haircut anyway though y'all can see i'm back with this detangular because the top it dries so easily um so i have to keep spraying it throughout the whole head because um you know like i said our hair dries very quick but um 
I love the texture of his hair. I'm not sure if his hair is considered 4C, so um, if you know what hair texture his hair is, like, let me know, or is it considered 4C? Um, because his hair is just really curly. Like, it's so curly, and it's not like my husband's. It's kind of like mine, but I'm not. It's kind of like curlier than mine, so just let me know. I did a little close up so y'all can see how it actually looks, you know, up close. And I honestly wasn't feeling it at this point. I thought like it wasn't as good as I thought I can do. And so um, I did continue out doing the whole head, but I ended up redoing his hair, or not redoing it, but doing it um, the roots over again the next day after it dried a little bit because it, his hair was really wet from all of the gel and and the spray I was spraying in his head. So it's, usually when I spray his hair, it like shrivels up. And so I wasn't feeling how the dreads was coming out. But like I said, they turned out to be perfectly fine. So this is how his hair looked at the end. Um, I did blow dry his hair with the blow dryer back there. And um, I left him on um, in it for 10 minutes until he started complaining that his ear hurt. Um, so I took him off and I honestly wasn't feeling it, but I did go over the next day um, to tighten up the roots and you know, just to find it better, like the ones I had an issue with. So this is how his dreads look um, after I redid them uh, the next day. And this is us at the barbershop about to get his hair cut. Like I said, later on, I did notice that um, it was better for me to just braid the sides until it was time for him to get it cut. So that's what I did. King, he does not look like he wants to get a haircut. Look at him, look at him. Very um, miserable looking. But uh, he did behave himself and he did a good job. So I'm proud of my son. So the barber is about to cut off the first piece of his hair. Like I said, this is his first haircut. So it was very exciting for um, me and my husband to watch and be a part of. And um, you know, he sat there like a big boy, but he was looking at this barber, side-eyeing him like, um, why are you touching my head? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? But at the end, uh, his hair came out really beautiful, and we actually took him to get a brush from the beauty supply store, so now he has his own brush for his head to get those, you know, sides laid down. And I don't know if he can get waves, but if he can, we're going to try that too. So this is how he looks with all of his hair cut and his dreads done. I really like it and thank you to the barber that did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!